It was 50 years ago this week that America witnessed the greatest Kentucky Derby performance of all time. The Secretariat winning in record breaking fashion under two minutes at Churchill Downs. On Saturday, we have a chance to see a race that might make even bigger headlines here in Iowa. Our Andy Fails joins us now to explain. Andy. Yeah, this is Secretariat, and this picture does look like it's about 50 years old, right? Well, he is considered the greatest racehorse of all time, and we are going to hear a lot about him this weekend for the rest of the racing season because it was 50 years ago that he won the Triple Crown with record times in the Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont, records that still stand. Well, what a time to have extra attention on Churchill Downs. We'll have the anniversary of Secretariat, and we will have multiple Iowa-owned horses in this year's Kentucky Derby, courtesy of Ankeny's Denny Albaugh. It's good to see Denny Albaugh again. And if you get the blanket, you won the race. We've got some things in common, you know. Well, here's a Derby horse here. Yeah, J-Boy, Echo. He's one of the richest men in Iowa, and I'm not. How many horses do you have right now, Tony? I think in the 120 range. And also, we caught our first Kentucky Derby together 13 years ago. The horse was Patty O'Prado. I was covering him, Denny was co-owning him. That horse was unbelievable. And we both could only watch as he ran out of messy track. It was really moving towards the end. The third place finish was enough to hook all ball for good. He started buying his own horses, and four have brought him back to Churchill Downs. The enthusiasm of watching him race. That's unbelievable fun to watch them go around the track. But all ball horses have yet to win big. At times, the tease has been downright cruel. I had a horse by the name of Not This Time, and there's a reason for that name. Uh, it got second in the Breeders' Cup by a foot of, of a $2 million race. Ouch. Well, this could be the year the luck turns. Allbaugh's Angel of Empire is in the Derby after winning the Arkansas, but he won't be alone. Jace's Road has also made the field. And there's one more. Cyclone Mischief is currently the field's first alternate. Anyone scratches before Friday afternoon, and Allbaugh has three horses in the Derby. We don't know of any other owners that's had three, and there may have been. We haven't been way back into the records. But even if he has 15% of the horses in the field, Allbaugh will keep wearing his lucky wristband and keep imagining how it might feel to win the world's biggest race. Uh, we have a plane lined up to bring us home after the Derby, and I hope I don't get on that plane and we stay and party afterwards. It's interesting to hear a rich man use the word hope, but it's the best anyone can do in this sport. He'll hope he wins this year, and so will I. And we will have that in common, too. So Angel of Empire is thought to be the best of all balls derby horses, but they all have a shot to win. Let me remind you that Rich Strike wasn't added to last year's derby field until the day before the race, and Rich Strike went on to win the race. Denny Allbaugh and family could have three chances to win. The race airs Saturday right here on WHO 13. Coverage starts at 11. Derby begins just before 6, so it's about seven hours of coverage. You think you can find time to watch a little TV, Janae? Probably. Those are some good odds, though, right, Andy? You're not going to want to miss this. I, don't think it, I think it's going to be great. For sure. All right. Thanks a lot for that report. Uh,